Good morning, good evening, good night, good whatever time of day you get this video. Welcome to Cooking with the Davises. And right now I have my son, Jeremiah. He's doing some prep work to receive these collard greens that they had me washing last night. And they're fresh and I just dropped them in the freezer. So right now he's cutting up some hog dogs. Hey, Jeremiah. Hey, y'all. Um, I'm not sure y'all where y'all are. Y'all are here in the kitchen with cooking with the Davidson. So what I need y'all to do, I need y'all to go like, you heard me? You do a share, you heard that? Comment, give me some ideas, give us some ideas. And subscribe. And subscribing is the most important thing you can do so you can stay in, in touch with them. So Jeremiah, what's that in that bag right there? Um, in this bag, these are some collard beans that were cut up by my mother. Oh and yeah, yeah. And um basically we're gonna get it seasoned up and um You forgot to tell them what I did to the collard greens. I kind of know what you did. You chopped them up, you washed them real good. So you want to make sure you wash them and you want to cut them first. I you? didn't cut them. Oh, you didn't? Uh-uh. I washed them and cleaned them and I just stuck them in the bag. <laughs> okay, well, she did something different. But um, you you definitely want to make sure you clean them. Make sure you clean them several times. Get any dirt, bugs, anything off of them. And, um, she froze hers because they taste better after they've been frozen. That's interesting. But um, I cut up some some pork jaws. And um, we're going to come over here to the stove and we'll get our stove lit up. Because I like to um, put some of this in there so I can get a little extra flavor. And um, oomph. You heard that? Not oomph. Oomph. <laughs> and um, yeah, so I'm gonna put that in there. I'm gonna put the top one, let it just sweat for however long you want to until it's crispy. Then I'm gonna take the juice and keep it in there. But we're gonna take some pieces of this and we're gonna eat it. And but the rest of them gonna leave in there so they can just cook along with the greens. But um, do I need to put all this in there? Do you want all of this in there? Um, no. no. Okay. So I'm gonna put just one more piece in there, maybe two. Okay. And so then I'm gonna put the top on there. I'm gonna just let it sweat Move out. Oh, that light is shining. Oh, I'm sorry. On. I'm gonna put that. Yeah. I'm gonna put that um top on there and just let it sweat for about. I don't know. You know, ten is always a good time. Ten minutes. And um, let's see. It's on medium heat. So if your stove has like the numbers. You can, you can put it on about six or five, but every stove is different, but trust your gut, trust your intuition in the kitchen, okay? So we'll be right back when I, um, this stuff right here, it sweats down. So we'll be right back. All right. All right, we're back. So we got our meat sweating a lot, and I'm gonna show y'all real quick. Let me show you. We have all that oil. It may seem like a lot, but it's going to be, it's going to serve every purpose we need to serve for this meal today. We're also going to be spreading it amongst our corn. And also, I forgot to tell y'all that this is more than a one part video. This is several videos that we're going to break up and come together as one meal. So, back to the um, collard greens at hand. All right. I'm going to pass the camera back to my mom. Ready? Yep. Okay. So now we're gonna take our collard greens and we're just gonna, we're just gonna, um, I know I'm a little bit of a messy cook. And make sure your hands clean too. But um, we're gonna do that, put that in there like that. Y'all hear that sizzling? It's so satisfying. But um, we're gonna go on with, let me show y'all something. We're gonna go in with some of this. And if you don't know what this is, I can drop the link in the description or the information in the description. This is my mother's seasoning. 
It has, this is the sodium version of her seasoning. I'm trying to get my words together. But this is the sodium version. And we're gonna actually try this on the collard beans today. So let's get one more good look at that. Y'all see that? And this size bag is $10. So if you really want to try it, you just leave me a comment, shoot me an email, and we'll get you set up. But um, we're going to go in with her um, sodium. And you just like me, y'all, with mama. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because sometimes you can overdo it with sodium. But, um, and this is a little bit of sugar. I'm not going to pour the whole thing. I just needed enough to create that chemistry that is indescribably undescribed. <laughs> but, um, yeah. And then we're going to go with some water. I don't know if I need to pour all this. Do I shut up all this? Okay. And, um, we're just going to pour We don't need much at all. Okay. And then we're going to take our top, excuse me, mm -hmm. and we're just going to let it cook. Cook. You've never seen Calvin cook like that before. You learn something new when you cook with the dates, is what you think, son. I think so too. I think you learn a lot of different things that I've never seen or heard of. And I gotta say, it produces a really good meal, so yeah. So, what temperature do you recommend that I, I recommend you put it on low? Okay. I like recommend you put it on that back burner. Okay. Because it's the smallest runner. Okay. And put it on low. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're just going to let that cook. And we're going to get started with our next video. We'll see you in the next video. Peace.